If you live in San Diego, you may have noticed these painted utility boxes. There are quite a few of them, and they're all around town. We decided to look into the story behind these boxes. Who paints them, and how did this all get started? At first, we thought there might be a single organization responsible, but we did some digging and found out it's a little more complicated than that. Over the past 15 years or so, multiple organizations have launched projects like these in communities all over San Diego. One of the first of these projects was the Urban Art Trail. It started in 1997 and focused on beautifying downtown San Diego, particularly the East Village. It was an effort to brighten our community with public art painted by volunteers, and it was pretty successful. Successful enough that other similar public art projects sprung up in different parts of San Diego, organized by various community groups. Some of these are located in San Diego's most iconic neighborhoods, like North Park, Normal Heights, and Hillcrest. Over time, these projects spread out all over the county, and there are boxes like these outside of San Diego, too. There are painted utility boxes in other parts of California, in other states, and in countries all over the world. We certainly like these boxes, and we decided to ask a few other people what they think. Oh, I like them. They're pretty. It's better than a big gray honking box right in the middle of the street. Oh, it's better than just, you know, an ugly box sitting there. Anything you can do to beautify the town. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, I think it's very, very nice. <laughs> I don't know. They, they're better than the green ones, the, just the plain green ones. I think they're gorgeous. My name is Carol Lockwood, and I am a volunteer with the city of La Mesa. And about 15 years ago, the La Mesa Arts Alliance was created. We have been doing a variety of projects, among which uh, is this utility box project. Uh, comes from the La Mesa Police Department. It is an anti-graffiti project. It was really their idea as a way to eliminate graffiti from our corridor here. This particular box was done by a senior at Helix High School, Josefina Aravalo, as her senior project. It's a very special box because it honors uh, the astronauts and particularly uh, Neil Armstrong. We have all sorts of subjects that have been chosen, uh, some Dr. Seuss, uh, butterflies, animal patterns, monsters, flowers. Uh, everybody has their own idea, but they all complement one another and uh, make this particular area a little brighter and a more pleasant place to drive through. Hi, my name is Alicia Garcia. I live here in Ocean Beach. Um, my background is uh, I studied fine art. I actually saw a posting on Facebook from the Ocean Beach Main Street Association and they did a call for artists, um, so I answered the call. I just inquired about it. They were having this beautification um, project for Ocean Beach, saying that they wanted to beautify the utility boxes that were kind of looking dingy. Basically, I had to, um, it was pretty rough, so I had to um, sand it down, and my um, husband helped me sand it down with like a power sander. And then we had to prime it, and then I started with the colors, and um, I knew exactly, I knew the colors that I wanted to use, and I kind of just let it flow from there. While I was working on the project, it was, um, I got so many great reactions. I was here for so many hours that I would see so many people walking back and forth, and some would stop and um, tap me on the shoulder and ask me what I was doing or what the painting was, what it was going to be, or they had their own interpretations. This project was something I'm, I was so excited and proud of to do, and I just feel really lucky that I got this opportunity. Looking at box art is different from seeing art in a museum or gallery. It is often viewed by people driving or walking by. It fades into the background of everyday life. It also embodies a sense of community spirit, the artists are often motivated by a desire to beautify their communities. We love San Diego's box art, and we hope the tradition continues for years to come.